recently Bruce upgraded to the Lowrider ST and to finance that we traded in my Sportster and I upgraded to the Street Bob. <laughs> They're wandering slowly closer and closer, <laughs> yeah. Sorry, they're cute. It's a very, very different bike to the Sportster. And one of the... There's a car coming, but no. Yep, and there's also a cow. <laughs> Hello. Hi. Aww. One of the main differences is the power. <laughs> so cute. Hola. Oh, can I just pet him? Just prior to me taking ownership of it, Bruce upgraded to stage two, taking it from around 80 to over 100 horsepower. In this video, I'm gonna share my thoughts on going from a 1200 Sportster to a big block Milwaukee 8. Just before we continue, if you find this video interesting or entertaining, please subscribe, it's free to do so. just upgraded from my Sportster 1200 to this Milwaukee 8 beast. When I first got on this bike, knowing that it had a stage 2 upgrade and 100 horsepower, I knew I was going to have to take it easy to get used to it. To put that in perspective, my Sportster was around 68 horsepower, I believe and definitely not as responsive on the throttle. I think one of the biggest differences is really the responsiveness of this bike. I have to be really careful with the throttle because it's so easy to just move it a tiny bit and I just take off. I remember the first day I rode this bike recently, was almost home, thought I had it all under control, turned my right indicator on to make a turn and the <laughs> accidentally touched the throttle and my head just went flying backwards. I was like, holy crap! There, yeah, lo lots of power in this new bike. It's taking a little while to get used to the size of this bike. You know, my Sportster was pretty slim, pretty compact. And uh, the stance I have to have on this bike, legs out wide, and uh, yeah, just got to really manage the weight of it. I actually really have to stick my leg out quite far to, to get to the ground around the primary casing. So it's, it's a, quite a bit different in terms of how I physically have to handle it. One of the other differences is it's not quite as nimble when parking. So I really have to be concentrating when I'm in neutral and trying to manhandle the beast into a into a, a spot or a car park or an incline. When Bruce had this bike set up for him, he had 14 inch eight bars on there, which I, I used and they were pretty comfortable. I was surprised, but they were too far forward for me. So when I've taken over this bike, I've got 14 inch hammer down bars, had them pulled back and uh, it's it's in a really comfortable position now. I'm enjoying the, the height of the bars. The best position that I've found when riding is to keep my elbows bent a bit. So I've got to have the bars back far enough that my elbow can be slightly bent and not stretch fully out when I'm riding. And that's pretty much the position that I've got these bars in right now. Probably the, the most tricky thing that I found initially when I first rode this bike and just um, each time I get on it, it takes me a minute or two to get used to again. And it's the gear shift changes. I think it must be to do with the stage two. Uh, I'm not sure, but it's quite clunky and you really have to give it a bit of oomph to, to change those gears. Um, very, very different to my Sporty where it was pretty smooth and very easy to just tap it up a little bit and change. I don't know what other women riders feel about certain bikes, but I know that um, it's definitely, I felt intimidated by some of those big block bikes in terms of whether or not I'd be able to handle them. This is technically, you know, the first of the big block 
Harley series that they do, you know, the big bikes. And um, it is a little bit intimidating, I have to say. I'm five foot six and a half. I'm not super short, I'm not super tall. Wasn't sure if I'd be able to handle it okay. It is heavier than my old Sporty, which I could just flick around quite easily. But I've, I've got to say, it all just comes down to practice, eh? Just being careful, being aware of, of your limits and being aware of where the bike is and just practicing, like it's no big deal. And in fact, it rides freaking amazing. It's got power when you want it. So there's definitely advantages there. So yeah, I don't know women, like if you, if you think you can't, you probably can. It just takes a bit of practice. I'm certainly in that phase myself. I'm trying not to, trying not to push it too far, just trying to slowly get to know it so um, I understand the bike and the bike knows me and yeah, I don't have any accidents, but it's, it's a fun journey. I've been noticing actually that when the bike's up and running, it's, it's no different to riding my sporty really at all. It's only slow speeds or when you come to a stop or a, or a parking situation that you kind of just have to have your wits about you and remember the size and the weight of the bike. When I took over this bike from Bruce and uh, I'm thinking about setting it up for myself, I was quite unsure about the seat that he had on there. I wasn't sure if it was really the right seat and I'm still not 100% sure but the more I ride it, the more I feel like the seat is molding more to me. It was pretty much a brand new seat. I'm feeling quite comfortable on it now. And uh, if I need to change it, I will, but I think it's just a matter of getting the seat, seat time in and, and molding the seat to, to be comfortable for my position and my body. Final thoughts at the moment, uh, I'm, I'm just really enjoying this this new Milwaukee 8 larger bike. I feel like I've probably been ready for it for possibly a bit longer than I might have uh, admitted to. I love it. I mean, it's been a little bit intimidating to start with. I took it slow, but I love it. It's a great bike. I'm super excited. I love being on it. I just have to keep my wits about me.